Afternoon everybody, Mike Brailsford, Brailsford Works. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. I do appreciate it. Today I'm back on more cocktail smokers. My first batch sold out at my first few shows and now it's time to make another batch. And so, let's get on with it. So I've turned these all into discs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna true up what will be the bottom. And then I'm gonna add a tenon that will be for the location of the basket that will go down from the inside and it'll have the holes in it that will allow the smoke to escape inside the glass. I have my caliper set up where I already need it. Check so make sure I don't go over. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start parting it where I'm going to separate the bottom half from the top. So I get it cut most of the way and then I stop and I will finish up the cut on my bandsaw. So I've got them most of the way cut. I'm just going to finish cutting them through on the bandsaw.
All right, so now I'm going to hollow the inside out of the top just a little bit, make it a dome, and then I'm going to flip it around and shape uh, a little bit of a grip onto the side. I'm not going to put a handle on the top this time, I'm just going to put a grip on the edge. all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna sand that now I'm gonna just scrape it a little bit because it's got a little bit of an edge and I'll use the dreaded carbide for that beauties about doing these cocktail smokers is you don't put any finish on them because you don't want it to affect the taste of the drink so I'm going to I'm going to flatten out the top um, and then I'm going to put a groove on the side and I'll probably use the dreaded carbide again And that's it. And this one's ready for some Death Star action. That being my X-Tools DR1 laser. All right, let me get the bottom and try it out. So right now I'm going to burn my logo onto the bottom of the whiskey smokers and I'm just going to get it set up. I have the image already in my library. Got to put it onto the program. I want to frame this so I set it up so this is, oops. The center of the image was well, on the crosshair. And let me hit framing just to make sure it's all going to be in there. Looks perfect. 
framing is complete. Hit start and burn. Logo is on the bottom of the whiskey smoker. Looks good. So I'm going to do the other 12. I'm just going to the other 11. I got a total of 12. And then I think I'm going to come back later and I might put some kind of design or something on a few of these. See how they look. All right. But I'm going to, I'll come back when I'm going to do these. Alright, so that's it for today. I made nine cocktail smokers. Six of them I put on some Viking art. Here I've got the uh, Elder Futhark runes. Uh, this one I've got appears to be Fenner the Wolf. And there's another one, another stylization of Fenner the Wolf. This is, I believe, Jorgen Munder, who is the serpent that encircles the whole world. I know a little bit, tiny bit about Norse mythology. Uh, and here's some fish. I have no idea what they mean. And uh, this is Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. All right, and I've got one that I've made for some friends that uh, want me to make them for them for their company to give away at Christmas. And this is just a prototype, which I'll give them. And then I've got two that have nothing on them at all. And then I bagged up uh, wood shavings uh, so they have something to put in the smoker. I've got oak here, which is a perfectly fine wood for smoking with. And um, I've got, you get one free with the smoker itself and that I have a few, couple extra bags so if somebody wants to buy two I have to sell them another one for like five bucks all right thank you all for watching please click like and subscribe I'd appreciate that leave me comments because I will answer every single one and everybody have a great day bye bye